Ever since Christianity began, church growth has been the greatest challenge faced by heaven-minded servants of God. With increased urbanization and explosion in technological advancement, the task of evangelism has just become more arduous. This is the story of how the Foursquare Gospel Church came to Nigeria and how it has miraculously grown from its humble beginning to become one of the biggest and most respected church denominations in Nigeria. In 1954, Reverend Harold Curtis and his wife, moved by the Holy Spirit, came to Nigeria to pioneer a Foursquare Gospel Church. The first Sunday service, complete with a Sunday school, held on Sunday, November 1st, 1955. At judging that training and manpower development would be crucial to its mission, Reverend Curtis started a Bible school. This would later become the rallying point of the Foursquare Gospel Church mission in Nigeria. Reverend Curtis went straight to the heart of the matter. The work started right in front of his residence at Yaba. By the time the Curtis left, we had 16 churches in place and a Bible college. That was remarkable. In 1964, Reverend Joseph Babcock and his wife arrived in Lagos to continue the work after Reverend Curtis went back to the United States. His first task was to nationalize the Foursquare Gospel Church in Nigeria and make it a self-governing, self-sustaining, and self-propagating mission. This led to the appointment of the first national superintendent in 1971 in the person of Reverend Samuel Odunaike. From Reverend Odunaike to Reverend Farumbi, from Farumbi to Reverend Badijo, and from Badijo to the current general overseer, Reverend Felix Medui, the success of the Foursquare Gospel Church could be attributed to the vision and policies of the six leaders that God used mightily in the 60 years of its existence. Today, the Foursquare Gospel Church in Nigeria has over 3,000 local churches. In addition, the church has impacted 36 countries in Africa and beyond, leading to the nationalization of the work in 10 African countries. But this achievement did not come easy. It was the synergy of purpose that gave us breakthrough. All the national leaders, all of them, had church growth and evangelism as their number one priority. They all prayed and worked hard for the growth of the Four Square Gospel Church in Nigeria. The Four Square Church in Nigeria utilized a 10-point strategy implemented vigorously in varying degrees and with varying emphasis by different national leaders. This include the big open-air crusades and night vigils, aggressive urban and rural evangelism which reached thousands of the unreached, widespread creation of home fellowships, church planting, vibrant young people and children's arms, adult ministries like men and women groups, Bible school and pastoral training, establishment of Macpherson University, a faith-based university, and the introduction of district convocations and zonal rallies. There was a big leap in church growth after the Civil War, which ended in 1971. That same year, the Four Square Gospel Church in Nigeria was incorporated and Reverend Esso Odunaike assumed office as the national superintendent. By the time Odunaike left in 1983, the number of churches had grown to 138. From then, the Four Square Gospel Church in Nigeria blossomed. Reverend Olu Farumbi, who succeeded Odunaike, grew the church to 12 districts and over 700 local churches. For the first time, the church had a truly pan-Nigerian look. It was during Reverend Farumbi's era that the Four Square Gospel Church in Nigeria made an inroad to the northern part of Nigeria. 
In 1999, Reverend Wilson Badejo became the general overseer of the Foursquare Gospel Church in Nigeria. To his credit was the famous Barley Harvest Initiative that took the Foursquare Gospel Church to new heights. When he came in, the church was over 700. By the time he was leaving in 2009, we were over 2,000 local churches. That was great. It was indeed the beginning of a new era. The mission of the incumbent general overseer, Reverend Felix Medoye, who assumed office in 2010, is quite clear. Take the church to a new level in terms of growth and impact. He calls it the decade of multiplication. It consists of a simple but ambitious plan. Establish at least one district church in every one of the 36 capitals and at least a zonal church in each of the national local government areas. Operation Church Plant a Church, OCPC, was born. If one church plants another church every three years, the Foursquare Gospel Church in Nigeria will experience an explosion. We have achieved the first objective. There is indeed now a district headquarters church in every state of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory. There is an aggressive effort to achieve the second objective before the end of 2018. We are moving forward. Is it just a game of numbers? Not so. The Foursquare Gospel Church in Nigeria is already established along strong doctrinal lines. The fourfold ministry of Jesus Christ as the only Savior, Healer, Baptizer in the Holy Ghost, and the soon-to-come King is entrenched in all the churches. The discipleship process, the tenets of faith, and the Foursquare distinctives are some of the things that make the Foursquare Gospel Church in Nigeria a unique church. And now is the time to fulfill the divine mandate that the Foursquare message must be preached in all nations. It is indeed the decade of multiplication.